Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you some more G.I. Joe. This time it is. This time it is Tiger Force Duke and the Ram Motorcycle. Awesome. So it looks like we're going to get a vehicle with this one. Yeah. Um, part of the Tiger Force. It says 40 on the top of the box here. Um, these are by Hasbro. And let's turn it around see if it shows us anything on the back. All right. Well, it shows you the pieces that you're going to get with it. Um, and it looks maybe like that's actually going to fire off. I can't tell. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll yeah. To see. All right. So let's go ahead and get Duke and Ram out of the box and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. All right. We're back. And here's Duke and Ram. So um, we already have a Duke right figure, G.I. Joe. But this one is the one that comes with the motorcycle. And, and he is um, dressed differently. Yeah, I was going to say, in case you're wondering, yes, it is a different uniform. This is the Tiger Force uniform, so it is a different... It's the same sculpt, but but it looks different. Okay. All right, and you were saying they come with... Yeah, it comes with, like, the Foot Locker. It says Duke and Ram, and that's what, um... It was a separate box inside there that had all the accessories there all you go. Ta -da. wrapped up in it. But so you can kind of save cool. that, yeah, to kind of keep your even accessories has, like, in. the 40, like, the figure number yep. and everything on Very it. Very so. cool. A little star on the back and little handles. That's if really cool. If you need cool. a G.I. Joe accessory container, you can use that. That's right. Looks really neat. That's cool that they include that. All right. Let's take a look at him on Ram. That looks really cool. So this piece doesn't actually shoot out, but as John was explaining, you can kind of take this apart and he can kind of use this as a handheld um, weapon as well. Yeah, this just, this that little sidecar piece actually just pegs into the side. So you can take it off, and then this piece actually, like, comes apart. Oh, okay. So you can take that out and actually use it like a handheld weapon. Oh, okay. If you want. So cool. That's it's like cool. dual purpose. So um, I guess I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show him on there. But let's, can you go ahead and take him off so I can show yeah. off the... Yeah, it actually is cool because um, he actually... He pegged in? Pegs into the, into the motorcycle, so... And holds on very tightly. So it's got like a, almost like a viper or some kind, you know, like an eyeball and mouth here. Oh, is it? It's not a tiger, right? It's tiger I'm guessing force, maybe it's supposed to be. I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the other side. That doesn't really make me think tiger teeth. Yeah. But it could be. Um, it is orange. and has a little symbol right here as well. Let's take a look. He's got little dials up here on the motorcycle. Um, and then little gas tank, um, the seat, which has some, like some ribbing on it. Um, the details over here with the engine, the motor, and all the motorcycle parts. And it even has a kickstand, which you can do when he's not on it. Help it stand up. That's awesome. And then, I guess you could fold yeah. it either way. And then, um, the tires, um, they feel kind of rubbery feel kind of rubbery to me like not just plastic I feel like they have a little bit of give to them so not a total rubber tire but I don't know if you feel it it feels like a uh, kind of a rubbery type plastic it's a little bit oh, in yeah. between it's, yeah it's not as not as um smooth not as, yeah and, yeah so and then let's take a look at that side he's got the American flag there um, Really cool details on this motorcycle. Looks awesome. Here's the front. So there it is from that side and from that side. Very cool. And there's the pegs you're talking about that you can peg them in. Oh, it has a little wrench there. Mm -hmm. And then it says instrument cover. So, huh. All right. I'm going to put the kickstand down and stand it back here. Hopefully it won't try to steal the show. So let's go ahead and take a look at... At Tiger Force Duke. All right. So let's take a look. I'm going to move this box a second. Let's take a look. There's his facial sculpt. Um, his hair. He's got the eyebrows and the serious face. He has this um, strap which is coming over here. And this, uh, his little pack pegs in there. The little army shovel. Yeah. The, one of the little shovels that fold down like that. Um, and it pegs him to the back. He also has some room for ammunition and whatnot right here. 
can't tell if that's supposed to be. Yeah, that that pegs in. That was actually a separate accessory. But binoculars, I'm not right? Sure. Yeah, I'm guessing it is binoculars. It does look like binoculars. So, um, and then he has the stripes on his pants, like tiger stripes, which looks neat, like the different black stripes going over the orange. He's got gray gloves. He does have another uh, weapon here, and it does come out right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does come out. But it does fit in snugly, so that's nice. Yeah. So it's not going to just fall it's out. It's not going to just fall right, fall out for the figure. He's got another emblem up here. Looks like. Yeah, I think it's probably his ranking. Yeah. And then there's the other weapon. So he's looking pretty cool. He's got some. He's got some shin guards in case he's going to play a little baseball lately, mm -hmm. <laughs> later. And uh, he's got um, some knee pad, knee protection. So, very cool figure. You want to show off his articulation? All right, so let's take a look. He is going to have um, articulation at the neck. And if you can see, he actually has a, a piece at the base of the head. And then also, like you can see, like the base of the neck is also articulated. Um, and you can see here as well, if I make him look up, you can see a piece here. So he can look up really well. He can look down and of course side to side um, he has the uh, butterfly shoulders so they'll give him greater range of motion in the shoulders and of course they will also rotate and extend he has the bicep swivel the double elbows and then the dual wrists so they will twist and bend as well uh, he has two points at the torso one at the waist and the ab crunch in the mid torso he has the drop hips so they can get good range of motion at the hips um, also has the the thigh swivel the double knee the mid calf or top of the boot and then also the ankle and the ankle will roll as well as pivot and all the um, articulation points are really smooth so um, awesome to be able to add this new Duke to our GI Joe collection all right so there's one last look at at the Tiger Force Duke and Ram motorcycle awesome so thank you so much for watching as always come back and see us like subscribe and we will see you next time